Hey guys, how you doing? Simple video here on simply how to share a Google Drive file or a whole folder. Now, maybe you've been sharing with your colleagues or friends, but now we're gonna need to teach our students as well, maybe because they're using uh, Edgenuity and they need to upload a file to you. So since they own the file, you're not gonna be able to see it if they're uploading it straight to Edgenuity. So you could teach your students how to create a file or a folder to share, I would say that would be the easiest thing to do. So let's first check out a file. If you wanna share a file, all you have to do is just click on the file or right click on the file. Then you're gonna just put get shareable link is gonna be on restricted. We could change it to Corona Norco Unified School District or anyone with the link but I'll keep Corona Norco just to keep it safe within our district. And you can see anyone with this link can view. You could copy that link and then be able to share it with anyone in our school district. So a student could share an assignment with you that way. But that could get very tedious, especially by the end of the year when maybe they're sharing hundreds of assignments with you. So what I would suggest is that they do it as a folder. So then if you just pick a folder, same thing, you could right click on the folder, get shareable link the exact same way. You could change it to Corona Norco Unified School District. Anyone with that link can view and they could push done. Now you'll see a little person inside that folder right there. So that means that folder is being shared. Same way if you were in the actual folder, you could see your little people right here, your little icon, you could see that it's shared. I could click on that and change it as well if I want to change it back. I could also change those sharing settings once I'm inside the folder by clicking up here on the folder name and getting the shareable link there as well. So a few ways to do the same thing. So for your students, what I would suggest is them just creating a new folder. So new folder. Maybe they want to call it Edgenuity work. And then all their work could be saved in that Edgenuity folder. It'll save it in alphabetical order in their Google Drive. Then they could click on that folder. But first, I'll share that folder with anyone with the link on that folder will be able to access and that would work. Or they could simply share it just directly with you to keep the work safe just for you. They could click share up here and then they could share with just to you. So when they type in, you know, your email address, then they will be able to share it. So we could, let's say, share with a colleague and then type in their whole email address and share it then that'll be shared with that one person. Now, whenever they make something else in this folder, then it'll all be shareable. So they would only have to do this one time. So we'll one time share with you, then they would always be able to get that work to you as long as they share it in that folder. Then I would suggest, you know, by the end of the year, they would have a lot of assignments in here. So maybe inside this Edgenuity folder, you would have them create a folder within a folder. Maybe they have, a math folder where they want to share all their math work just directly in here. Maybe they want to even put a folder inside their math folder and then they could create a folder and then, you know, maybe it's called module one and that's where all their work is saved for math inside module one and it'll be in there. So maybe for younger students, this might be a little complicated. So you'd would want to tell their parents or you could show them this video on how to do this but sharing their ingenuity work just the whole folder shared with you then that way they're not going to have to share every single individual assignment you won't be getting that error message like work is not shared with you because that folder will be shared so again once they go back they're going to be able to look and see that their folder is shared so i'll see in my alphabetical order i'll see my ingenuity work Oh, I could see it's not shared because I didn't finish it. So let's say I do share it with someone and then I type in their whole email address in here. So you could be typing in your teacher's email address. It'll pop on up. You could notify people and even write in here, I've shared my folder with you. It's showing which folder is going to be everything in there. And you could have your teacher as an editor or a viewer. Editor means they'd be able to edit your work. Viewer means they would just be able to look at your work. 
either one should be fine. And then when you push send, it'll go ahead and send them an email saying that they're going to have access to that folder. Hope this helps. See you later. Have a good night.